Hello everybody, this is the Mad Salvi coming to you with uh, unfortunately another black company. This one is The Reverie. We had been talking about them before in the past, but uh, they popped up with some really nasty stuff recently and I'm really disappointed that another company is going this route. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this. This came out today, earlier today actually. It uh, <clears throat> says, announcement, Lilia Pris Veil, uh, Rana Yana Akikasushi graduation. Thank you for supporting V Reverie. It is with much sadness and regret that we announced the graduation of three talents of V Reverie, Liria, Rana, and Akiko. And their graduation dates are as follows 16th of March, 23rd of March, and 24th of March. So it's all going to be in March. The talents will be ceasing all streaming activities after the graduation dates. The contents of the YouTube channels will remain up, though they will no longer be updated. Kindly note that all purchasable merchandise for Liria, Rana, and Akiko will be closed after the respective graduation dates. Purchases completed before the graduation will still be processed. Liria, Rana, and Akiko have been a big part of Reverie's journey, and we cannot thank them enough for all their hard work and dedication they have given throughout their time with us. While it is saddening to see them go, we wish them the best in their decision to pursue new goals and activities outside the company. We hope that they are able to spend meaningful time with their fans until graduations. We kindly seek your understanding and sincerely request you refrain from contacting our company's talents regarding this matter. Now, this wouldn't be so bad if they had done it the right way, because apparently this uh, kind of shot, this kind of surprised some of the talents about what uh, was going to happen because some of them had already planned a graduation stream. Some of them had already planned the announcement for the graduation stream and they didn't weren't given the chance. And people reacted badly. Let's get to some of the reactions here. One of them was, you could have literally scheduled the tweet. Would it be too much? These are some amazingly talented people you're talking about. They deserve so much more respect than this. And supposedly they scheduled it, but it was posted at XX precisely. If so, that means that they either it was scheduled it wrong or Aki's announcement was the first scheduled a day later and stuff like that. Aki's the one that we're going to get to in, in a little bit. This person responded is, can you help me understand something? How do you make seven streamers graduate and not want to work here anymore? And you got it done in three months. I wish the best for all the girls. They deserve the world. Reflect on what you've done and do better for Gen 3 or they will go too. So this is like another black company, another company that has really bad management, really bad everything it seems like. And we're just having way too many of these lately. It really is not good. Only two talents as of now are left in Gen 3 along the way, but this is not looking great. The talents seem to not feel like they are really gaining anything from being part of the agency. And usually in agencies, you get a lot of benefits. That's why you go into agencies. The, the benefits outweigh the cost. The benefits outweigh the negatives. In this case, it seems like there were way too many negatives in the corp in the organization. V Reverie, congratulations. You took six incredible talents, failed to advertise them, and let them crash and burn. You failed on every front as a company. Shame on you. You won't be remembered, and you will, and you will have people call you a black company. And honestly, I might be one of them because of just the way that they did it. It's just wrong. People are reading right here like VTuber manager. That's where the management training is. Basically saying they're having no management training. You should be ashamed of yourselves as a company. Absolutely disgraceful. To be honest, they don't feel that even don't they don't care either. At least the truth is out now. And sooner or later, people will find out more and more. And here's the last one about the people reacting directly to this. So are we dealing with another black company here? I have a feeling we are. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like the black company is something that is uh, way too common nowadays. And unfortunately, this one is one of them. Here we go with the crux of the issue. Some people were not informed that that was going to come out. Some people thought that they were going to get the chance to tell their chat themselves, their community themselves. One of the people who thought that was Aki Kosushi, one of the people who's graduating. She thought she was going to have the chance to tell her, her community that she's graduating. But no, they pulled the rug from underneath her and they messed up and they announced it before she had the chance to. That is really messed up because that is a chance that you get to be close to your, your your chat, your community, and at least let it come from your mouth first before they hear it from a third party, like the management company. She says right here, oh, seems like let's have a chatting stream tonight then. Because like I said, she she had the rug pulled from underneath her. They didn't, they didn't let her know that that announcement was gonna come out at that specific time or else she would have gotten ahead of it and made her announcement herself. She did make an announcement stream later on, but uh, people were very angry, as you can tell right here. It says, how dare you announce Aki's grad before she could? You deserve nothing. Then we had another person that said, would have been better if you had released it after Aki goes announcement stream later, but oh well. 
Uh, the fact that you couldn't even wait for Aki to have her stream first is so unprofessional and just truly messed up. This is beyond disrespectful to Aki and all the girls. They put in everything for us under your umbrella. They deserve so much more. To be treated as an afterthought like this is damning. Actions speak louder than words. You really showed your true colors today. Of course, as I mentioned before, she had her own announcement stream. She had her own thing that she was doing uh, to let her fans know what was going on. And that leads me to what's happening next. What's happening next is Lilia Lilria made her own uh, announcement stream before this, luckily, before the announcement came out. And uh, she, you know, went through it and mentioned that she didn't want to do this, but she has to graduate. Graduation is the option that she sees for herself right now. Um, and of course, people were reacting like, uh, you know, she made her waiting room. She forgot to make it originally and big hugs because they are already finding out that V Reverie is not a great company. And she has her uh, goodbye message, her final stream message, everything for people. Sucky buds, I'm sorry things have come to this. I'm sure many of you feel sad and disappointed. I do too. I wish things were different. I wish I could stay with you forever in this form as your Rhea. I'm sorry I can't do that, but even despite the fact that I can't be your sucky, sucky bussin' princess anymore, I'll never forget the promise I made that I never leave you. I may be graduating, but I'll always remain by your side. I'll always be your Hime. No matter where I go from here or what I do, I hope we'll meet again. I'll always love you. I'll always be waiting for you. Everything I have, my happiness these past two years, I owe it all to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being the light of my life. Thank you for loving me. I love you. Lydia Priestville. And people react with good luck for with everything. This is a really good message because all VTubers really appreciate their community, my, myself included. Everybody does. And of course, comment down below if you have a comment about this specific part as well. Now, Ranayana also made a announcement uh, before, luckily before all of this happened, because all this happened this morning. Luckily, before all this happened, she made her own announcements as well. Uh, she went on stream, made the announcement of her graduating. And of course, people are reacting. Um, it, people are saying, you know, what the heck is down with V Reverie? It's just going really bad right now. I, I don't really get it. I don't get how a company could be this bad at management. But then again, we have Niji Sanji as well. Uh, she wrote everything in cursive. She says, for those of you who cannot read cursive because you were born in like 2005, there's a Google Doc version of my handwritten letter that I poured my blood, sweat, and tears into that you aren't deciphering. Uh, I can decipher it perfectly fine, but I'm going to give you guys a chance to actually be able to read it as well, just because, you know, I want to be the nice squirrel that I always am. And uh, yeah, so here we go. It says, to my favorite garbage cans, I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but I'm graduating. This is something I've been considering for a long time now and not a decision made easily. I thought long and hard about this. I could keep streaming as Rana, but when it came down to it, I was not something that I saw in my future mental health or my goals because I guess it was affecting your mental health a lot. I cannot go too deeply into the reasons for my graduation, but I will say I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry to leave you. I'm sorry to leave you with questions, worries, regrets. Most of all, I'm sorry to leave you alone because let's be honest, no one can replace me. I'll be that like that first love you keep looking for. <laughs> a little bit of a, a little bit of things, you know, levity there. I'm kidding, but also not really. I hope I'm replaceable. I am. I'm an irreplaceable existence the same way you were to me. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for giving me your time, energy, thoughts, and care. It's probably more than I've received in any life, and I'm eternally grateful. I hope you know I felt the same way about you. I don't know how many people graduation, my graduation will influence or affect. I know as I write this, so many names come to mind, but also nameless. Those who lurked silently supporting me this entire time, thank you. I will miss you dearly. I don't know how this makes you all feel or even how I feel. I didn't expect to cry or be sad writing this, but here I am doing so on my third draft. I keep hoping it will be the last one, but I keep writing more and more. I guess I thought I was numb to everything at this point, but I'm not. It hurts more than I thought it would. I've already spent so much time here with all, with you all. Rana is something I put a lot of love into, both in design and personality. She's an extension of myself that will now be gone forever. It hurts when those things happen because you put so much into this thing. Absolutely. I wonder what you are all thinking as you read this. For many of you, I am sure it's your first introduction to me. Maybe to some, this is truly shocking. I wonder how lurkers who have never spoken feel. Strangers, regulars, do you want to say anything to me now? Ultimately, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be happier longer for you. I really did try. I know I'm not the most fluffy or sweet person, but I promise I tried to make every stream fun and unforgettable for you all. I'm sorry it wasn't enough. I tried to be inclusive and make sure everyone knew just how much I cared. Whenever I asked about anyone's day, I want you to know I meant it. I wanted to know your day today, how your lives were and, I, and when I wasn't around. I wanted to know what I could do to make things better and add value to your lives. Most of all though, 
I want it to be your home to come back to every day. A place where you felt seen like a person, not just as a name on a screen. I remembered a lot about each and every one of you. I hope you'll remember me too. I'm sorry your home was taken from you. I'll always be here in one way or another. I don't quite know why I'm so sad. Goodbye doesn't mean forever. I think it's because things will change. It's not a bad thing. It's just how it is. Thank you for those that took the time to get to know me and give me a chance. I'm sorry to the few who have just found me. I hope in the future we will be able to get the chance and opportunities to do what we both deserve and desire. This has been a somewhat depressing letter, but I hope hearing it in my voice is a testament to how sincere I've been with all of you. I enjoy acting, but I've never been able to be a false person, especially with all of you. You all mean the world to me. I've never told you guys. I love you and I won't be here, but I hope you know deeply I cherish each and every one of you. Thank you for changing my life. I hope in some way I have changed yours too. Let's enjoy our time together. Please be courteous, kind, and respectful to the rest of the girls. I care deeply for them and they deserve everything good. Don't speculate. Don't bring it up in their chats. Be kind. Give them lots of love and support. No one is a replacement and I encourage everyone to be respectful and a decent human being. I will do my best to, take, to make the time we have left wonderful. Thank you for being my Renatics and also for being in my life. From Rana, Fien, and there she has her little, um, her drawing of her uh, consoling her, her fandom, her, fa her fans right there. Additional note, I have a discussion with management and they have allowed my cover, Stellar Stellar, to be uploaded after I graduate. At the very least, very minimum they did that. I wanna hear her, her cover of Stellar Stellar. I think it would be a good one. We also have Brie, who was once a part of Re-Reverie. You can look it up if you want to. Uh, she was a former talent of Re-Reverie who also graduated a while back. It says, I was professional for so long. I stayed as silent as I could and said only a shred of what happened since I was early out and so many people were stuck. She has NDAs and all those type of things, which prevent her from speaking, of course. She said, I'm frankly embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that my name is associated with something so disgusting and vile and abusive. But more so, I'm embarrassed for them. What the F is wrong with you? The bare minimum, which is basically like they could have done the bare minimum. She goes back over here and, you know, puts a little bit of levity. says, I'm glad people are seeing more, more S that went through. I wish there was a way to share how bad it was. And of course, like I said, there are uh, NDAs and non-disparagement agreements and things like that, that a lot of times you have to sign as being part of an agency. And I can understand why she can't say everything. But here she has a little bit of her, uh, her you know, uh, personality come through. Thank God that all this S happened on a Monday night. I got therapy on Tuesdays. So she can basically talk about it to her therapist on Tuesdays. And that is good that someone can have that type of levity, you know, going on with this type of situation. Now that is where I leave you for today. Of course, comment down below if you so please in order to be able to have a conversation about this whole situation because it is a crazy one. It is indeed a wild one. I did not expect to see this today. I did not expect that another company like would be like Niji Sanji or worse or in any way near what they were doing because it seemed like it, they were bad as it is. Uh, also, my in the description, my socials are down there. I invite you to join the Discord server. It's a nice, comfortable, calming place where, you know, I just want people to chill, enjoy themselves, have fun, all that kind of good stuff just to, you know, get away from a lot of this stuff if you want to. We just have regular conversations there. And of course, a video here, if you so pleased to look at. Uh, it is something that you might be interested in. I hope that you check it out and take a look. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe, of course. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.